All right, our local Generac service dealer is here. He's also a friend of mine. His name's Andy. And I believe this is... Are you his son? Are you Andy's son? Yes, yeah, this is Andy's son. This is their service. They uh, not don't just do King George, but they do all of probably most of Virginia and Maryland. Some of Maryland. We go to uh, the county right across the 301 bridge. Charles County. Yeah, we go down yeah. there. Yeah, so they do all the service on our Generac, and they also do small motor and engine repair, and they they put axles on our our four by four. Yeah. You know the Kubota, so. Yeah, so what, what all it entails uh, when you do a yearly service on these? We change oil, oil filter, we inspect the whole unit, we wipe it down, clean it up, check your coolant level if it's a liquid cooled, and check your cylinder heads for debris and dirt if it's an air cooled generator. Uh, liquid cooled is a lot less common. Usually people put air cools in. This right. unit just so happens to be a liquid cooled, so you're going to have a coolant and you got to check your radiator to make sure there's no dirt and debris but since this unit's kept inside and you don't have a lot of grass clippings getting blown up in there your radiator's clean as a whistle right uh, a little bit of dust on the outside from bugs i think i believe that the reason it's it's uh liquid cool is because it's in a building yeah, they the required liquid, it yeah the liquid cools are also a lot heavier duty than the air cools right they yeah la they actually have a most of them have Mitsubishi engines in them. Yeah, aluminum. So this is the same engine you would have in a small car. Yeah, it's a, in a generator. Yeah, the price told us that yeah. <laughs> we bought it. So yeah. now, how often, like that coolant in there, does that that's never been changed? Is there is there a time, at certain hours or years, that you have to change the coolant, or does that after a certain amount of hours you have to change it, and after a certain amount of years, I believe it is three to five years. And I don't, honestly, I don't know off the top of my head the amount of hours it right. changes between units. You'd have to look in your service manual for right. it. And um, obviously, this one's not ready for it. It's not that old, and it hardly has any hours. Right. You, know, you yeah. probably lose power a little bit, but it's not like if you go up north when you have the big right. snowstorms, they lose power all the time. Right. Yeah, we've lost it for a couple of weeks at, or a week, over a week, a couple times from, from snowstorms, those ice storms, but... It's mainly summer storms that take us out. Yeah, the, yeah, so. the quick thunderstorms that come yeah, through. Trees and trees. Yeah, the, especially a lot of the cedar trees and pine trees, when you get snow build up on yeah. them or the wind gets a hold of them, they crack real easy, fall. Right. Especially the cedar trees when it snows, right. they typically fall on power right. lines, not power out. Like that storm we had a few years ago that knocked right. power out for the ice storm. Two weeks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And this did great. This did. This did fantastic, and this will run our shop. It'll run every building we have here that runs through the main house. Yep, 22 So PW. eventually we're going to split it up, and we're going to take some of the power from this spare right here, yeah, and we're going to take it over to some of the buildings and then take the jumper to the house out. So this thing should handle it. It's 100 amps, if I'm, if I'm correct, right? This is a 100-amp unit? Yeah, and then you got... Three two hundred amp transfer switches. Right, so it, it just kind of spreads it out. But you got a total of a hundred amps. That's it. Yeah, hundred amps available. Yeah, twenty two so. kW unit. Right. So yeah, it's been fabulous. Well, I appreciate your time, and uh, it's good to get it serviced, so we know it'll be reliable. So yeah, like I said, oil change, and once it's done every year, and then you inspect the battery too, make sure the right. battery's charging good, all the charging. Right. Did you check that yet? Yeah, I checked it. It's uh -huh. charging the battery while running. The okay. In case the alternator's working. Yeah, we had a problem with the battery before. The original installer didn't run a wire over, so it wasn't charging the battery properly. And we had a trickle charger on it, and we never understood why we had to do that. Yeah, the T1 charger wasn't hooked yep. up properly. Yeah, so that company we got rid of, and they never come back here again. So, all right, I appreciate your time. Take care. Yes, sir. You too.